never quite placed the smell of Sidonia. Your ozone and metal and... and something... frankly old and ill. Hmm. Sidonia. The UC clings to its old way. I suspect this soul system would be abandoned otherwise. If you're here to buy or sell, you might want to talk to Octai. I'm busy. And by sensitive, I'm guessing you mean something you don't want UC security sticking their noses into. I can probably help you with that. What have you got for me? Whoa, way too hot for me. That stuff is nothing but bad news. Why don't you take your shipment and try somewhere else? If the Trade Authority is not interested, that says a great deal. All I'm going to point out is the ceiling, with my middle finger. Get that stuff out of here before UC security catches on. Of course, if there's a finder's fee you're offering, I might, well, bend the rules a little bit. Sure, go ahead. You shoot me and the TA will have bounty hunters on your ass before you even get back to the spaceport. Listen, love, I've heard it all. Threats bounce right off, so either cough up the finder's fee or try and sell that shipment on your own. You know, it's funny. Suddenly, I do remember someone who might be able to unload that stuff for you. Just demand the extra credits up front next time. These games are juvenile and tiresome. There's a buddy of mine who runs with the Crimson Fleet. Goes by the name Adler Kemp. If he isn't passed out, you can find him killing the rest of his brain cells at the Broken Spear. Oh, and uh, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. What did you mean? Mars is wrapped with resources, which means... Unless you're here to serve me another drink, you can turn around and walk away. Hey, why don't you say that a little louder? I don't think every single UC guard in Sedonia heard you! Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we can help you with this. If you've got a whole shipment of this stuff, you're going to need to move it fast. But you're going to have to do something for us first. Yeah, well, she isn't running the show here. I am. I see no good reason why we should have any extra dealings with the likes of you. Lady, if you want me to move that shipment for your pal here, you're going to do whatever the hell I want. You got that? Now listen up, because I'm not going to repeat myself. I need you to deal with a miner who's racked up a bunch of debt. He probably spent it all on booze, not that I blame him. Either way, I want that money back. Feel free to throw as many credits in my face as you want, but that isn't the point. We need to make an example out of this guy. His name's Carl Fielding. 
I think you'll find him wandering around the Deimos Miner's quarters. Don't worry, you can't miss him. Just look for the most miserable looking guy in the entire place. I can help you with? Adler Camp. Who the heck is that? What? Play what games? You're obviously confusing me with someone else. Look, I'm tired. It's been a long day in the mines. I just want to go home, wash off the dust, and relax. This has been fun, though. Whatever. Adla, uh, Adla, Adla. Oh, wait, you mean that Adla? Yeah, sorry. I thought you were talking about someone else. <laughs> I told him I'd pay up next week when Deimos cuts our next profit share check. I'll even bring it to him personally. Sound good? Yeah? Uh, well? I mean, he doesn't really have a choice. Look, I haven't got a single credit to spare right now, okay? You can't squeeze blood from a stone. You know? Right? Clearly this man has never seen how hard I can squeeze. Holy crap! Really? You'd do that for me? Wow. Uh, I don't even know what to say. Thank you. For everything. And don't worry. I'll never borrow anything from Adler again. I promise. Yes, you need me? Only if you need a thing to start your own What do I Have something for me? There, would you look at that? I knew that bum was holding out on me. He going to be a problem anymore? Or did he get the message? Nice, nice. You're kind of a natural at this. Leaning on deadbeats comes easy to you. I like that. You know. If you like this kind of work, I can get you more. A lot more. You think you can handle running with my, uh, associates? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I like your style. All right, I'll call ahead and get a hold of Neva Mora. She's second to the big boss himself. Head out to Europa. You'll find her there. I suggest you listen to whatever she has to say. Oh, and I've taken care of that Aurora shipment for you, too. Don't spend all that cash in one place. If you are free soon, I 
wanted to thank you for giving me the chance to work with you. I know we met under um, unusual circumstances. You seem to be acclimating well to Constellation. Are you enjoying working with them? I think none of us were expecting what we have found. Well, perhaps, Matteo. You have certainly become a vital part of the organization. That is a credit to your abilities. If I may, from what you have seen, do you think I fit in well with the rest of Constellation? No, I do not. But I find it hard to quantify. Many of the other members are polite, but distant. I worry that my background and my actions concern them. I have not shared much, but everyone knows I worked with smugglers for years. I am no stranger to violence and death. I know. For those that have not lived it, it can be difficult to imagine or accept. Others here have seen conflict, but for more noble causes. Vladimir is the only one here who can begin to understand. He was the one who pressed the group to include me. I lack his charm. He puts others at ease. I fear my presence does the opposite. Uh, that is kind of you. You also have a lot g going. Uh, <laughs> I am... I, I find expressing affection difficult, but... Um, but truly. Thank you. I know this seems trivial. Uh, perhaps childish. I have just always relied only on myself. I have never been surrounded by people like this. By a group I... I wish to be a part of. Does that make sense? And yet here we are, working together. And that has, I think, gone very well. Discussing these things is challenging for me. I hope now you can better understand why I wanted to keep the circumstances of our meeting quiet. I wanted to thank you for not saying anything to Vladimir. I know that you said you wouldn't, but it is still a relief. I would like my contributions to Constellation to amount to more than violence. It would have been, to some. Thank you for talking this over with me. It is good to know that at least one member of Constellation understands me. Back in wow. Look who found so. Big shot. I hear Adler thinks you're good enough to join our crew. <laughs> you're funny. I hate funny. Remember that. So, before I put you to work, let's get everything out in the open. I don't know if Adler mentioned it, and for his sake, I hope he hasn't. But you aren't about to sign up with any average pirate crew. You're signing up with the Crimson Fleet. That's if you get through this little task I have planned for you. There's a medical supply ship called the Ragana, jumping into Enceladus's orbit. 
On board that ship, you'll find a traitor named Austin Rake. I want him dead. This job isn't about the loot, but I suppose every dog needs its scraps. Keep whatever worthless junk is on that ship. Just remember, the only thing that matters is that Rake dies. It's done when Rake stops breathing. Head back here when you're finished. And don't keep me waiting for long. This Neva Mora, her words are measured and carry weight. She is not to be trifled with. for you to take this offer. It shows more mercy than you know. Well, normally I would say no, but frankly it will be safer for us that way. All right, you can dock. We will talk then. We have to talk. It's important. do you want? All right. Out with it. What the hell is the matter with you? You can't be serious. You're going to stand there and pretend you don't know what I'm talking about? It's insulting! You want to play this foolish game? Fine. Members of Constellation are held to the highest regard, yet you persist on making poor decisions that reflect badly upon us. If you intend to continue this behavior, then maybe we shouldn't be traveling together. I'm not sure there's anything you can say at this point. Ah, uh, ah, uh, don't try that. I'm human nonsense on me. It insults my intelligence.
That sounds like an excuse to me. Well, that definitely helps. Well, at least you admit your own faults. Look, I realize things out here can be rough, so I'm going to let this go. For now. Just try to be more careful in the future. Otherwise, you'll find yourself traveling alone. Hey, how's it going? How have you been? Will we be taking off immediately, or are there other matters that require your attention? I am not sure what to make of you being here. If you wanted to kill us, you could have done that from your ship. If you wanted our cargo, we could have jettisoned it. I guess I should just stop talking and let you say your piece. That is true. Which means you don't want somebody to know what you are really up to. Now, do you mind telling us what this is all about? You really do not know which one of us is Rake, do you? And you do not seem to care either, which makes me think you really want to save him. Okay, I have idea. We can strike his name from Manifest, make it so he was never on board. Then, when we dock, we will leave him on this ship and deliver him to another port. That is fair. We do not want any part of the fleet. Is that all right with you, Austin? Do I have a choice? It does not appear you do. Well then, it is agreed. You go back to your ship and we will make sure Rake was never on ours. And in case any of your handlers get suspicious, here. We had an extra crate of supplies loaded, in case one got damaged. This should be proof you were not here to bargain. I thought we'd thank you for letting us go. So you're the fleet's new dog, huh? I do not like the cold. It stiffens the joints, lowers reaction times.
treasure? Yes, actually. I am surprised you noticed. You have quite the talent for reading people's current mood from the fall. Comes with the territory, I suppose. Care to share your troubles? I am concerned with how the rest of Constellation perceives my presence. Regardless of how I present myself, I feel as though they're looking at me with disdain rather than comradeship. Honestly, I think you're being a bit paranoid. Everyone I've spoken to has nothing but complimentary things to say about you. If that is truly the case, why do I often find myself excluded from other members' activities and gatherings? Having someone from House Varun among us is a new experience. I'm certain they're unsure if you even wish to be approached at all. Give them time, Andresia. They'll come around. I promise. Thanks for the help with the cliptic. I had it under control, but it definitely went faster after you jumped into the fight. Now tell me about the Ragana. Give me some good news, then we can go celebrate. No kidding. That'll make Delgado happy, seeing as our hands are clean. I would have preferred if you hadn't left witnesses behind, but at least you got the job done. Anyway, you wanted into the Crimson Fleet? Well, you're in. Yep, it's that simple. Hope this business with Rakes taught you something. Because I'm about to stick my neck out and vouch for you. If you screw up, and I wind up looking like an asshole, I'm gonna send someone after you. We clear? Be careful what you wish for. You screw up bad enough, and I just might. And now that you know the deal, it's time to see what you signed up for. I'm gonna upload the coordinates for our headquarters in the Crick system. Spacers call it the key, the fleet calls it home. Head out there as soon as you can. Don't keep me waiting long. Joining the Crimson Fleet is hardly a cause for celebration. But you have your reasons. So for now, I will allow it. I cannot wait to see how the UC is throwing its weight around today. I had a friend on the Ragana. I hope I'll be able to see him next time we're on shore leave. Hello. This deaf marines are the best of the best. Go back. Anything to report? We got the message from the Ragana about Austin Rick. We had him dropped off at a separate port, off the books. Suffice to say, he's got a lot to answer for. That's a smart line to follow. Part of this role you're playing means having to make hard choices. 
Just remember not to lose yourself in the park. We did our best not to cross the line, but the more we do, the more we risk exposing the deception. Oh, one more thing before we move on. For transparency's sake, you should know we were the ones that hired Ecliptic to attack Neva's ship. There was concern after what happened with the Regana that you might have trouble earning Neva's trust. Coming to her rescue ensured that would not be a problem. They are mercenaries for hire. If they are paid enough money, Ecliptic would attack the Vigilance. It wasn't terribly difficult to convince them to attack an isolated Crimson Fleet ship. Just expensive. But a gamble that hopefully paid off. On that note, how did things go with Neva? Were you able to join the fleet? Then it worked. You're in. Sounds like everything is going as expected. Now it's time for the next phase of the mission. Our intel on Searsha was correct. After we received reports on your interaction with Adler Kemp, we picked up on your rendezvous with Neva Mora. Our files indicate she's second in command, so getting on a good side will ensure you get into the Crimson Fleet. Yes, you pass your first test and you're still alive. But before we get too confident, that either means she suspects nothing, or she intends to make an example of you later. Just remember, these are ruthless criminals, so don't let your guard down. And their ruthlessness is only surpassed by their cunning. You should proceed with caution, regardless of how well you think you've ingratiated yourself. So what's next for you on Neva's agenda? Excellent. If you're heading to the Key, I assume you'll be meeting Delgado soon. Delgado is the leader of the Crimson Fleet. I have a profile here with some information on his background. You'll want to know the individual cadences of every member of the fleet, but Delgado's most of all. What is there to know? He is pirate scum. Like all of them. Exactly. The Crimson Fleet is not a monolith. Any information you have on its members can only help. In any case, now that you're with the fleet, you'll be operating independently. We will shadow you eventually, but we'll need to maintain our distance for now, especially while you're on the key. This will also give us time to bolster our defenses, should we need to engage with the fleet in the future. Sir, on that note, shall we begin implementing the upgrade to our shields? Immediately, Lieutenant. Notify the engineers and relay the information to the crew. I hope your entry into the fleet has overcome any doubts you may have had regarding your mission. It certainly increased my estimates on success. Keep up the good work. We'll expect further reports. Dismissed. We don't have a full... Things are progressing rather quickly. I'm sure the commander is pleased. Good luck on the key.
star space. We're gonna do a quick scan for contraband, and you can be on your way. Scan complete. Go ahead and land. I know there are more important things going on, but I need to make another... you so long. Forget how to grab jump or something? Fair enough. Glad to see you showing some backbone. Just be careful that you can back up that attitude before you square off with someone who can kick your ass. But, all that aside, you made it. So now, you get to hear a nifty history lesson. Pencils ready? Good. This floating scrap heap you're standing on is called the Keep. Used to be an old UC military star station, and now it's the fleet's base of operations. Might look a little beat up on the outside, but we keep it together. Sure did. Right out from under their noses. Way before you or I were born, though. We've held this station for a very long time. Don't worry. Delgado will tell you all about it.
Hey, we're talking here. Hell yeah it is. Just watch it back when you do. Cred sticks tend to disappear around here, if you catch my meaning. Assuming we are using this same abbreviation, I must disagree. I find this neither restful nor relaxing. Anyway, I'll tell you all about the key. But it's better if I show you too. Follow me. History time. So, the key is in orbit around the Super Bowl. That's the very same Ice Ball where the United Colonies built a Supermax prison they call the Lock. The UC is so clever. Supermax prison, Lock, key. Ah, <laughs> cute, huh? the fleet needs right here. Of course, you've got to pay for it. Remember, on the key, credits are king. What the hell is this? All right, all right, hang on, Nev. Before you get pissed, I've got my hands full. Jasmine, sweetie, I'm trying to give a tour here. So you want to tell me why those damn doors are sealed? It's called a malfunction, you know. That thing I spend most of my day dealing with, believe me, my people are on it. Have a little faith for once. Aww. And you always, Angel. This here's Jasmine. You need anything for your ship, she's got you covered. We'll hit up the depot next since these doors have given out on us. So anyway, we were talking about the lot. About a hundred years ago, the prisoners down there rioted and took over the place. After stealing some ships, they were actually able to make it up here and took over the key. About time you brought us new blood, neighbor. I was getting tired of trading with the same old faces. You're just ticked everyone's getting wise to your ridiculous prices, Alutra. Anyway, welcome to the depot, Rook, where you'll be lucky if these blood-sucking leeches don't bleed you completely dry. Whoa, whoa. It's not our fault that people don't appreciate how much it costs to get untraceable merchandise onto the key. Neva's just whining because she thinks she lost a ton of cash selling us a shipment of gear. She should have done her homework. Yeah, sure, laugh it up. I'll remember that next time I need something from you cheapskates. Let's move on. <clears throat> Back to my story. After the liberated prisoners grabbed the key, they established it as a base of operations and began pirating the spaceways. That was how the Crimson Fleet began. Of course, Jasper Cricks had a lot to do with all that, but uh, we'll get to him later. Rook, meet Zuri, queen of the rare exports. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Neuroamps, blueprints. Hit her up and she'll take care of you. Speaking of which, you still owe me for that last purchase, Neva. It's like five figures. Don't make me collect it the hard way. <laughs> the hard way? Oh no. Rook, protect me from Zuri's vengeance. Enough of the bullshit, Zuri. I'll pay you when I pay you. Deal with it. Got a problem with that? Take it up with the boss. On the right, we've got Bradley from the Trade Authority. I'm sure you know the deal there. He'll buy pretty much anything, no matter how hot. Then we got our med bay on the left, run by the one and only Samina Mizra. She'll patch you up, if you've got the money. We don't run any free clinics up in here, you don't? Okay, this is our final stop. Over there, you've got the last Nova, where Bog serves watered-down drinks at ridiculously exorbitant prices. And right here, is the most important place on the entire station. The Reckoner's Corps, run by the incomparable Shinya Voss. Another new Rook, Neva? I can't believe Delgado still lets you recruit, given what happened with the last one. You mean Austin Ray? It's been taken care of, all right? I don't like loose ends, and this Rook is the one who tied it off. 
Perhaps next time you'll try to be a bit more discerning regarding your choices. It's far more costly. Yeah, yeah, love you too, darling. Anyway, Shinya handles our lifeblood. The money. We call him our reckoner, but if you ask me, he's actually a pain in the ass. And Neva will slit your throat if she thinks you'll bleed creds. Go to hell, boss. Take care of our new friend here, or I'll find a way to pull the pin on that little party hopper in your chest. Anyway, Shinya will get you set up in our system. I've got real work to do. Once you're done, head upstairs and I'll introduce you to the boss. Time for a proper introduction. I am Shinya Voss, the official reckoner for the Crimson Fleet. And since Neva so thoughtfully mentioned it, yes, this is a bomb embedded in my chest. And no, I'll never know the meaning of the word humble. In fact, I find Delgado's idea of a security measure to be quite empowering. Glad you approve. Obviously, betrayal isn't taken lightly around here. Since I oversee the bulk of transactions and maintain all accounts for the fleet, I'm a prime target for information. Should our enemies capture me or I grew any semblance of a moral conscience, you might consider me the greatest threat we have. For Delgado, the bomb grants peace of mind and a certain degree of safety. It's why he's the boss. Of course, I'm not the first Reckoner to bear a bomb under my rib cage, but Delgado was smart enough to continue the tradition. Now, let me get you set up. A moment while I convene with the core. Thanks to advanced modifications, even Ryujin would end it. I can interface directly with our mainframe and the Galbank network. This allows me to move and clean credits faster and more efficiently than any run of the mill cyber runner. There, you're done. All you need now is Delgado's blessing, and you'll be one of us. None, other than my chest and arm modifications. I am but a simple man. Is the interview over now? Can we get back to work? The perfect segue into my final subject. Thanks to our relations with contacts across the galaxy, we always have a steady stream of jobs available. I've granted you all the necessary permissions to access these listings at any time using the computers that surround the core. If Neva's chosen wisely, we certainly will. Now, I believe that covers all I have to say, so you can run along to Delgado. Take the elevator to the upper level. You should be able to find your way from there, I hope. So, now that we are all here, it's time to get down to business. The two of you are the only rooks that have made the latest cut. The rest, well, let's just say they won't be joining us ever again. Neva's willing to put her neck on the line and vouch for you, which means you've got what it takes to join the Crimson Fleet. You'd better not disappoint, or you'll find yourself answering to me, personally. All right, let's get started here. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, you're in it for the long haul. No one quits. No one retires. The only way out is death. You stay loyal or you pay the consequences. Fleet before friends. Fleet before family. Fleet before yourself. Boss. <laughs> Good. You're getting it already. 
I like that. Can we get on with this? I want to get drunk at the last Nova. I am impressed. That is the first intelligent thing you have said this entire time, Mathis. Since you two seem so eager to move forward, let's get to your next job. Pack your cold weather gear, Rooks. Where we are going, you're going to need it. Oh, God, don't tell me you're dragging him down to Suvaral for another one of your little initiation runs. Ten Johns to the surface, twelve dead Rooks. You'd think by now you would have given up on that goddamn campfire story. Crix's legacy is no story, neighbor. We've got fresh eyes in the fleet. And if these two want to impress, they're going to help me search those ruins. I hope you're right, Dale. That new code we grabbed for the lot cost us a ton of credits. And a decent captain. This initiation, as Neva calls it, is your chance to see where it all began. On Suvorov with Jasper Griggs. Griggs led the riots that gave birth to the Crimson Fleet. Mm -hmm. And if his legacy is still out there, we're going to be the ones to find it. Before Crix left the fleet, he left a message talking about a major score. One that would set up the fleet to be a big player in the settled systems. Somewhere down the line, they started calling it Crix's legacy. And everyone who's tried to find it has wound up empty-handed, missing, or dead. If we're gonna beat those odds, we'll first need a lead. And I would wager we will find one on Subarov. Dale's leaving out the best part. That this whole search is based on a handful of words on a very old slate. Crix left a lot of big talk on that record, and not a lot of facts. Some of us believe in it more than others. <laughs> Don't listen to her. When we get our hands on Crix's legacy, the fleet will be operating at a completely different level. We will become more than a match for you, Cis's death. Exactly. Now you're beginning to understand. Okay, enough discussion. We have got a lot of work to do. To that end, the next stop is the lock. I've had Jazz feed the coordinates into your ship's computer. Since Mathis doesn't have a ship, he's going to ride with me. I'll see you down there, Rook. Don't keep me waiting. I will never grow weary of seeing places like this. About time you got here. I told you you were wasting your time, Del. Yeah? We will see. And Mathis, I am running things around here, so keep your mouth shut. You got that? <laughs> Fine. All right. Listen up, because I am only going to go through this once. We are here to dig up any info about Grix's legacy. We are not here to scrap for loot. Whatever you pick up, don't think, don't get creative, bring it straight to me. It's so simple, even a rook like you can't screw it up. Hold on, no scrapping. How the hell am I supposed to make money around here? All right, that's enough. If either of you want to fly with the Crimson Fleet, then you need to follow one simple rule. When you're on a job, you do exactly what I say. No questions asked. If that doesn't work for you, just say so, and I will leave you on this ice ball without a ship. You will be dead within hours. Yeah, yeah.
Oh, and there's one more thing. Your little friend can tag along until we get to the outer doors of the prison, but I will be damned if I'm letting them inside. Fine, fine. Go on. Leave me. Just be sure and thaw me out when you return. We have a lot of ground to cover between the landing area and the lock, so let's get moving. Don't mess with me!
here we are. The place where Jasper Griggs laid the groundwork for finding the legacy, and eventually, the Crimson Fleet. The Lock. Yeah? Oh, good. I don't want the place collapsing on us. I've been down here several times in the last few years. As long as we keep the damage to a minimum, we shouldn't have any problems. All right, let's keep moving. Standing out here isn't doing us any good. This ID card cost a small fortune. Let's hope it pays off. <laughs> we are in. Let's go. First time I've been inside this part of the lock, so keep your eyes open. See anything unusual, pull it out. If it's hostile, take it down. Good listen. How many people did the UC stick down here now? A couple of hundred at least. Might not look like much, but it was better than trying to survive on the surface. Not much better. Even with the heating on, this place looks like a goddamn dump. Now you know why the prisoners got fed up and looked to Cricks to lead them out of here. And that's how the Crimson Fleet began. Yeah, yeah, we've all heard the story. It's not a story, Mathis. It's history. Remember that. Now, keep your mouth shut and your eyes open. This must be where they registered the prisoners, before transferring them to a cell block. Could you imagine being stuck under a ton of ice like this for the rest of your life? Yeah, sure. Must have been awful. Better them than us, though, am I right? Wait, shut up a second! Did you hear that? What? I bet these things are crawling all over the place. Yeah, and their bodies probably heard us firing from about a kilometer away. Hallelujah. Think about it, genius. We just unleashed hell on these things. Do you have any idea how far the sound of gunfire carries? Especially on a barren ice ball like this? Hey, how about that? Guess you're not so stupid after all. <laughs> well, look at that. One firefight and the two of you become best buddies. Now let's see. Looks like we are inside some sort of prisoner transfer area. But everything is locked down tight. 
Since you are such good friends, why don't you and Mathis head up to that control room and see if you can get some more of these doors open? and rock must be several meters thick. God damn it, we're cut off. Hey, Dell. Can you hear me? Dell. Shit. There's no way we're getting through here. Well, this is just great. The hell are we supposed to do now? The plan? Who gives a shit about the plan? Let's face it. We're on our own now. You think he rigged that collapse on purpose? No. No way. I get that we're down here trying to prove ourselves. But I don't think this is what Delgado had in mind. Well, yeah, we'll get to that eventually. For right now, I have a much better idea. We use this opportunity to take out Delgado, and at the same time, make some serious credits for ourselves. We bide our time, and when the moment's right, we hit him with everything we've got. Even the almighty Delgado won't stand a chance if we work together. I had a feeling you'd be on board. Okay, here's my plan. Let's pretend for a second Delgado's correct, and there's information here about Crix's legacy. Once we get rid of him, we'll dig up the garbage ourselves and sell whatever we find to Neva. We'll be rolling in credits. Playing it safe, huh? I can respect that. But you better have me back when I make me move. Now, let's find a way out of here. <laughs> I guess that's one way through. Things are crawling right behind the walls. Ugh.
been rescinded. They aren't paying us enough to be poking through this scrap heap. Have you thought about what I've said? Well, maybe we won't have to. You saw it back there. Those things, whatever they were, they've probably ripped him to shreds by now. Did the job for us. And if they haven't, we can still handle the job. We just have to get our hands a little dirty. Wouldn't be the first time, am I right? You've got a point. All right, I'll follow your lead for now. So, now that we've made it to the guard tower, what's our next move, genius? Keep doing what we've been doing. Right. <laughs> Glad I asked. I suppose we should start off by searching the tower for the location of Crix's cell. If he stashed any useful information, it might still be hidden somewhere inside.
03118. Okay. It's a place to start, I guess. Gets us 
us one step closer to that fortune that went down with the legacy. You report any of this to the guards. Well, you know what will happen. cleared this place out. Well, well, what do we have here? Now, give me a sec. This ought to come in handy.
Tanks up! Incoming! Kill them! <laughs> Imagine how angry the prisoners were when they rioted. I would hate to have been one of the guards. Looks like this was the they built an office right next to That's right. It was a team effort all the way. We had each other's backs the whole time, Dell. Is that madness? Don't 
to shut up so I can think? Uh, yeah, sorry, Dell. You go right ahead. Okay. Now, all we have to do is find a way off of this planet. Um, let me see. Ah, here we go. I'm looking at schematics for the lock, and I don't think there's a way to get you back to the surface from there. But I can open the outer doors to the shuttle bay and let you fly one of the shuttles down there directly up to the key. wanted to thank you for not being a jerk and hounding all the glory on this run. Cool. Cool. Look, um, about all that killing Delgado stuff, why don't we just forget about everything that I said? You know, like it never happened. Yeah, yeah, of course, don't worry, I'm good for it. Now, let's get the heck out of here.
I have been curious. I know that your role in Constellation was thrust upon you in an unusual way. But that experience does not demand that you stay. You could have delivered the artifact and then left. Why do you stay? It does seem to be a unique situation with serious consequences. That is what keeps me here as well. My past is complicated. And anyone in Constellation will tell you I do not speak much of it. But my family always stressed the importance of having a purpose in life. You must have a reason for being. This group of people, who by rights would never associate with one another, has come together for a common cause. That is impressive on its own, before considering the magnitude of the work they have undertaken. The possibilities it holds. Yes, that is one way of putting it. I am often surprised at how reluctant some are to agree with the idea. They sometimes seem offended I would suggest such a thing. When I first came to New Atlantis, I was shocked at how many people go about their business every day like drones. They do their jobs, eat their food, sleep in their beds, all seemingly without concern for anything around them. Complacent. Their experience is so different from much of the settled systems. They do not know how good they have it. Yes, they were. I did not grow up amidst such luxury. Purpose cuts through adversity. I know that all too well. And these people seem to have no idea. I am not asking for pity. I have done what is necessary to bear my burdens. And it has led me here. My family is unique. Within the settled systems. I grew up outside the bounds of the United Colonies or the Free Star Collective. My parents, and their parents before them, did not believe anyone outside our family could be trusted or relied upon. You can imagine, I am sure, how existence without ties to others is challenging in space. It has certainly proven valuable. Saved me. A few times, without question. For now, though, it would seem you and I have found purpose in Constellation. I believe that is enough. I am pleased that we have common cause and have enjoyed our time together. Thank you. Grog is fine if you like cheap moonshine. You are from There are UC bureaucrats that must be furious that this station has become what it is today. So long. It's about time. I was about to fly down and loot your bodies. Not now, neighbor. Well, 
You said you found something. Hand it over. That's it? Just one slate. After losing so much of our crew, it better be a map with a big red X on it. Well, I'll be damned. Legacy wasn't referring to Crix's fortune. It's the name of an actual ship. A Galbank transport probably loaded with credits. Never heard any stories about a Galbank ship going down. And even if it had happened, it would have been picked clean years ago. No, neighbor. Think. If Galbank covered it up, and over time, the location was eventually forgotten, it wouldn't be on anyone's radar. Okay. This changes things. Now that we know what we are looking for, we have to narrow the search. And the recording that you found proves that it is out there. All we have to do is find it. Let us start with what we know. It was a Galbank ship, which means the company is going to have records of where it went down. Neva, weren't you working on a deal with Rokov? Something about a big wig charity event on one of Trident's Starliners? Are you serious? I've been working on that gig for three months. That's my score. Ay, Dios mío. Will you shut up about your score and think for a second? That Starliner has a Galbank VIP suite aboard. Which means... Come on, Neva. This isn't hard. Which means a Gal Bank exec will be aboard. We grab their credentials and get ourselves into the Gal Bank archives in New Atlantis. Holy shit, that might actually work. I'll send a message to Rokov right away. Pack your bags, Rook. You're going on vacation. And since you've earned it, take this gun with you. Might come in handy when Rokov screws everything up as usual. Rokoff is... <laughs> well, he's Rokoff. A real pain in the ass. He used to run with the fleet until we kicked him out. Lately, he has been using his long hauling skills to captain a Starliner for Trident. Gives us a contact within the company. He has been trying to get his foot back in the door with us for years. But I'm not ready to let him in just yet. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. It's not what you're thinking. It's more of an office than a bank vault. Once you're inside, you'll be able to gain access to one of their computers and find out more about the legacy. Good, because that is exactly what you are going to be doing. Neva and I are too well known to walk around the Starliner without being recognized. If Trident Security spotted us, it'd be over. I need you to board that ship. Make contact with Rokov and get me those credentials. You'd better. Oh, before you leave, I wanted you to know that I took what you said about Mathis into consideration and I've decided to let him join the fleet. We'll see. That's it then. Next stop for you is Rokov Starliner, the Siren of the Stars. And remember, Rokov does not need to know anything about Grix's legacy. For now, it's just between us. Now get out of here. Hey, Rook, before you head out, I need to have a word with you. Meet me at the last Nova after you wrap things up with Math. Thank you one last time for not wrapping me onto Delgado. 
and telling him how much I pitched in. That was pretty damn cool. If he would have found out what I was planning, well, I don't even want to think about what could have happened. Oh, yeah, sure. Anything you need, you just ask. And I'll be there to back you up. For your sake, I hope you are sincere. You just, uh, you know, uh, take care of yourself out there. What could go wrong in a place like this? The fleet's the only family you need. There you are. All right, look. I've been lining up a score with that asshole Rokoff on the Siren of the Stars for months. I'm not about to let a payday slip through my fingers. So guess what? You're gonna finish the job for me. I'm about to tell you, so shut up and listen. Rokov's been tipping me off about some kind of bullshit charity event that the Siren of the Stars is hosting. At the event, they're gonna give away something called the Earth Savior Award, which is worth tens of thousands of credits. So it's simple. While you're on the Siren, swiping those Gal Bank credentials, I want you to grab that award and bring it to me. And I'd prefer to have the money that award's worth in my account. So you're just gonna have to deal with it. Look, you can make all the jokes and excuses you want. But if you don't come back with the ES award, I'm gonna deduct it from your pay. Either way, I get my money. How much you walk away with is in your own hands. Got it? I suppose it is up to you to decide whether it is worth it. All Rokoff does is feed me information. If I ask him to lift a finger, he gives me enough sob stories to fill a freighter's cargo bay. If you want my advice, leave him completely out of the loop. Otherwise, it's gonna cost both of us some credits. Then it's settled. Good. All right, Rook, we're done here. Now, get your ass to the siren and bring me my goods. Stay sharp, Rook. Maybe. I hope Bug has something strong enough to knock me out. This place even smells like deceit. We should make our business quick. Most of our operations team graduated top of their class at the academy. There's a fleet out there. We'll find them. What well, is the fleet has you chasing ghosts on soup? Yo, back. So how did it go?
then things are moving forward. Perfect. Nice job, Rook. I was certain we'd fool Delgado, but never. She's a sharp one. Overcoming her scrutiny is no small matter. Did you discover anything worth reporting yet? Legacy. Why does that sound familiar? Wait a moment. Are you telling me Delgado may have actually located Crix's legacy? I have never heard of such a thing. I'm surprised. I thought this was one of those tales that made it to every corner of the settled systems. I suppose it's possible, sir. Intelligence picked up a bit of chatter on that subject recently. We assumed it was some sort of tall tale or a story to attract recruits to their cause. All right, take it easy. We prefer to check our own sources, if you don't mind. Let me see what we have here. Nope. There are no records of a gal bank transport named the Legacy in the database. <laughs> I think Delgado's trying to manipulate you. What do you think, sir? I think there's no record because gal bank is hiding something. Delgado's no fool. If he risked his own neck to get that information, then he must be on to something. We have to take this seriously. What's your next move? Clever, Delgado. Very clever. If I were in your place, I'd be trying to do the exact same thing. We can't let Delgado get his hands on what could potentially turn out to be the largest haul of credits the Crimson Fleet's ever seen. Maybe I should head out to New Atlantis, sir. I could press the Galbank execs for information. Get ahead of everything. No. Let's allow this to run its course. We have our agent here feeding us information. I think that's good enough for now. There's more to this than just finding the location of the transport. Jasper Crix was clever. But for some reason, he never got there. It's imperative that you do. If the Crimson Fleet gets its hands on a transport full of currency, it would be disastrous for the settled systems. I need you to do whatever you can to bring us more information. And for God's sake, don't kill anyone on that Starliner. You're both dismissed. How's the training coming along? Training? What training? 